I've been very busy today. I've been creating a work instruction for my team to help our clients implement the quality system that we sell consistently. I want to have a step-by-step -step process where every single time we know exactly what the next step is and we can track to make sure somebody didn't skip a step and they're staying on plan for finishing the quality system in the time that we expect. So the first step was to create a work instruction. So we created a work instruction. Then I wanted to figure out how can we get that into Asana so we could follow it in Asana, which is a project management tool that we use and we can assign things and we can track who's responsible for it and what the due date is. And we really wanted something that we could use in the free version of Asana, not just our paid version. So the client can automatically create their own templates in Asana and um, track the projects. So I'm gonna share first with you the work instruction then I'll share the Excel spreadsheet I created, and then I'll show you how I import that into Asana into the free version. So first step, I'm gonna share my screen, and I'm gonna show you the work instruction. Here's the work instruction that I created. Um, it's still not 100% uh, ready, but it will be uploaded on our website shortly uh, as I make final edits. But the purpose of this is for our team to understand step-by-step step what the, they're supposed to be doing to help a client implement the quality system. Um, if you have any questions, need a proposal, Lindsay Walker is the person that can provide that. Um, the reference document that we use is our master document list that tells which procedures uh, are involved in implementing the quality system. Uh, for resource needs, we explain in here that it's going to take four to eight hours to maintain your quality system, but it could take 100 to 120 hours to actually implement the quality system for the first time. So it's quite a bit of work. And that's why we say down here, um, turnkey does not mean work free. Setting up one of these turnkey quality systems, even though you have all the procedures you need, you have to do quite a few edits and there is training and revisions and approval that have to be taken care of. And those are covered in all the steps in this work instruction. Uh, we also talk about free updates. So our company creates updates to procedures on a regular basis. That doesn't mean we customize the procedures for you. It means as re standards change and regulations change, we'll be periodically updating procedures. And when we update a procedure, you won't have to pay for the updates. You just pay once for the original purchase. Uh, I indicate what the roles and the responsibilities are for each person, uh, both myself, the project managers, and the client management representative. And then we have the 15 steps to the quality system implementation. We scroll down to the very bottom here. Here's where we talk about Asana project management. And then we have the free features in Asana and then the paid features in Asana that we have in our uh, paid seats, but you have to actually have a paid SANA uh, account in order to get those features. And then we have configurations and variants of our quality system. So if a client's not sure which version they want, this explains the different versions. Only two of them, the most common versions are um, links that you can click on and purchase with your credit card on the website. But Lindsay Walker's emails at the beginning, she can give you a proposal for any of these that you want. And then we have, uh, when you purchase from our website, the first group of procedures would be this list that we have at the very end. So that's what's in the procedure. Then I'll take you to the spreadsheet. So what I did is I copy and pasted in all 17, I'm sorry, all 15 tasks, but that doesn't copy quite right. So I had to make a few minor revisions and the revisions that I made were, I had to have some way to articulate what things were subtasks and what things weren't. So I put subtasks at the beginning and then sub subtasks. And then I also created a column for task name and description by having task name and description as the headers at the top. That helps Asana know, oh, this is where this information should go when I try to import it. So this is what we created. It's a CSV file. So that's one of the file formats that Asana will let you import. So now I'm gonna pull up Asana. So here I have a free version of um, Asana, and I'm gonna go up here to create uh, this little plus sign is project. And, I'm, and this is the free version, this isn't the paid version. And I'm gonna add a project, and you could use a, a template, you could import a spreadsheet. I'm going to actually import a spreadsheet, and this 
is going to be called turnkey quality system. And I'm going to make this private to me. I don't want it to be on the account that it was set up on there. Now we have to upload the turnkey quality system um, CSV file. So I'm doing that. And now we're going to go to project because I know it's all formatted properly already. And I'm going to shrink this a little bit. So now what it's done is it's imported all the tasks for this project. And it goes all the way down to the last task, which is establish target cadence for time. No, uh, that's not it. Um, still adding them. Okay, start your DHF early is the last task. So everything's in there now. But um, when you click on any one of these links, like I'll click on this one, all the things that were in that second column in the CSV file are now in the description section. So every single task has a description and the details that were in there are now provided here. So if somebody needs that information. Another thing you can do as a project manager, there isn't a way that I know of yet to automate this, but if you wanted to take the most current version of Form 22, you could attach that. You just go up here and attach. So that's an easy way to do that and help the client out. Um, you assign whoever's going to be updating that. So when you have the client on the phone, you uh, in a Zoom call, you might add those, say, when are we gonna get that done? So as you're going through this, you can check that. And then you have the different views. Now, as I said before, timeline, that's only available for the paid version. You can try it for free, but you can't keep it for free. Um, Trello is another tool that allows you a board method. So right now everything's in one section. So you could title this section um, unstarted. And then you can create a new section in progress. And then you could create a new section, say completed. And then you could have a final section uh, past audit. Because you might want to um, do an internal audit of each of those processes as you implement them. And then as you complete tasks, if you first start, it's in progress, you can move it to here. And then when it's completed, you can move it to here. And then when you pass the audit, you move it to here. And you can even color code things by column that allows you to customize them here. Um, there are a lot of different apps that you can use. You can use Slack, Teams, Zoom, all kinds of different features that allow you to have quite a bit of functionality in Asana. Uh, another view is the list view. That's the view I started with originally. And it shows you all these little subtasks. You could roll these up into here um, and add a subtask like that. But when I do that, I find um, then I can't see them on the main page. And I also haven't figured out how to import them that way either. So that's why I didn't do that. Um, but that is a, one of the features. You can have the due date. You can filter by person. So if you just wanted to look at, well, let's say I assigned this to me, and then I wanted to filter just my task, it's only going to show me that one task. And then you can also invite team members. So it allows me to add a person to this um, and you can add anybody because it's a free account. They get an email asking them to join. And now you have other people. You could even have assignments for your vendors. So you're, you're gonna implement a quality system and you want your vendors to be helping you through the supplier qualification and validation. If you're outsourcing manufacturing, that's something you might ask them to do as well. Um, so we're gonna eliminate that filtering. I'm trying to think of what other things I can show you here. Um, you can have files that are attached. You can have messages in here for different people on your team. Uh, the dashboard is not an option on the free version. Workflow isn't. Uh, the calendar is, so this is very helpful. So you could look ahead. What do we have going on next week on this project? What do we have next month? When are things busy? So if your whole entire team during the implementation of your quality system is using Asana uh, for various projects, you can see um, on the calendar where things are busy and where things are not busy. But if you end up with, a, with the paid version, then you can actually use workflow 
and you can uh, one of the paid versions even allows you to balance the workload out and do a little bit of um, of workload balancing so we don't have too many people uh, or too many tasks for one person you can balance that out a little bit this timeline option I've, I've showed this in another video on 510k project management but it's only available if for the paid version so i'm not going to spend a bunch of time on that and then of course overview for the project this is where you can say who the different people are what their roles are this is all part of the free version you can create a project brief you can attach it you can have links to different pages like if you have an internet in your company and you want to send people to that that's something you could do um, and you can even indicate on this overview page what the status of the project is so if it's off track you can put it off track and um, let me see how I say that. I think I just post that like that. And now when I'm looking at this project in the list view, I still see at the top off track, but I can quickly change that to uh, at risk or one of the other statuses. And I can even say when the whole project's complete. So now it's complete. And like I said, you can attach things. You can say who the owner is, what the status is, a summary of the project. Those are all options within Asana. I hope that helps you understand how to implement um, the turnkey quality system and how to use um, our work instruction and how to implement the um, Asana tool in order to help you track all the tasks. But that's how we manage our projects to make sure that they're done consistently and none of the tasks that are required from week to week to implement the quality system get forgotten. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to email me and thank you for your time. Bye-bye.